if it's okay, let me ask you a couple questions about cryptocurrency. Uh, you've had a few opinions about Bitcoin over the years. What are your thoughts about Bitcoin today? Its role in the global financial system and just in human society in general. Evolution of Bitcoin over the years is one of the things that has influenced changes in my view. It has proven itself something like 10, 11 years ago. Imagine the programming of this, and here's the, you throw it out, and that's the idea. It has not been hacked. It has operated. It is built. It has come an amazing way over that 11 years to be maybe probably the most excited topic among a lot of people, and has been used and and is now has obtained you know the status of having imputed value at the same time it is one of those assets that is an alternative money i think we're entering an era where there's going to be a competition of monies because of the printing of fiat money and the dep depreciated value there will be a competition of money and bitcoin is part of that competition but there'll be many monies, not just crypto monies, but uh, there'll be central bank crypto monies, but there'll be uh, different kinds of monies. And even monies are things that you buy and sell. NFTs can become a, a money, uh, a type of money. You own it and it's an investment and you could say, I'd rather own it than own uh, Bitcoin. Has uh, Ray Dalio bought any NFTs? Not yet. Okay. Only uh, only just because, like, I, I definitely want to buy a NFTs to just experience them. Yeah. You know, okay. like, I think think I should produce one. Yeah. And I should... Should have asked that. Have you made, Have you minted an NFT? You probably should, just to know what it's like. Yeah, that's right. This stuff is happening. Yeah. This stuff is real, okay? And how it operates. But like all new real things, some are going to go and some are going to, you know, it's like in, in uh, the internet in the year 2000, you know, pets.com could have been a great, but yeah. maybe pets.com doesn't make it and who knows. And that's the beauty of the competitive system that will evolve and some things will be treasured and some things will be uh, trashed. So, um, but when I look at it, I think we are in an environment of, you know, what is an alternative money. A money has two purposes, a medium of exchange and a storehold of wealth. And we are looking for, and it's portable, and you can, and it's best if it's recognized in other countries. So gold is one of those. So I look at it as an alternative gold, but I look at a number of things as alternative gold. And I think that, and I think, and gold is still my favorite because of certain qualities. For example, you can't trace it. In Bitcoin, you can trace who owns it, where it's going, and, and so on. Governments can have that ability to trace it and so on. A gold piece of coin, it's it's not connected. I think not connected has benefits, particularly in a world where maybe connections can be more risky. So, and then also gold has been for many thousands of years universally recognized as a source of money. And central banks, it's the third largest uh, source of money in central bank reserves. And I don't think think Bitcoin is going to serve those types of purposes and so on. So for various reasons, I prefer gold to the other, but it's a little bit part of my mix. But then you look at it, it hit, I think, 69,000 this year is the high Bitcoin hit. Do you think it's possible, you mentioned gold, do you think it's possible it reaches very high numbers, like 1 million that some people talk about? I don't, I don't think that's possible because the way I look at it is there's a certain amount of, certain amount of it. And there's a certain amount of gold. I'll use gold as a benchmark. The amount of it is worth about five, uh, uh, about one trillion dollars. Total crypto is about 2.2 trillion. But let's say Bitcoin. Uh, it's one trillion dollars. If you take the amount of money that is in gold that is not used for jewelry purposes and not used by central banks, and I assume Bitcoin won't be used for jewelry purposes or central bank purposes, that amount in gold is about five trillion dollars. So right now, if you were to ha have a portfolio that has gold and crypto, gold and Bitcoin, it's worth about 20 percent of the value of gold. Do I think it's going to be worth more than gold uh, in terms of that mix? 
I don't think it'll be worth more than gold, but let's say it became worth as as much as gold. I don't believe it will be. I think the 20% sounds kind of about right. I really don't know that what the right answer is. And then there's the question of what is all of that pool of money that let's say gold and gold equivalents relative to everything else. Does it go from, you know, let's call it six, seven, eight trillion to 16 trillion? Maybe it could double. It depends what it is in the world environment. But basically, if you use gold as a measure, there's no, it just makes no sense that it's going to be used that much more. Am I sure about that? I'm not sure about anything. But logically, it seems to me um, that there's a limitation on its price in relationship to other things that are like it. Well, I'm not going to give the precise amount of um, Bitcoin, and but I do some Ethereum as well. And uh, But the answer to your question is that I don't own a lot of it. I view it as um, an uh, uh, alternative money in a environment where the value of cash money is depreciating in real terms. And I think it's very impressive that uh, for last 10, 11 years, uh, that programming has still held up. It hasn't been hacked and so on. And it has an adoption rate. So I'm very big on diversification and it's a relatively small part of the portfolio. I would like to say that cash, I've been quoted, uh, cash is trash, that cash, which most investors think is the safest investment, I I think the worst investment, and that it's important uh, because it loses buying power. The one thing I would say to investors is don't judge anything in your returns or your asset in nominal terms, in, in terms of how many dollars you have view it in terms of inflation adjusted dollar and so cash like this year you'll lose four or five percent to um inflation and so pay attention to those because i believe that that'll be the worst investment and then beyond that the important thing is to diversify one's portfolio well because we know from that the surprises and the balance we also know that um, those asset classes on average significantly outperform and will significantly outperform cash and that they move between each other in a way that one has to do with correlations because of when things go down, when the economy goes down, then bonds will do better than stocks and so on and so forth. So diversification of assets. I view crypto as a small piece of that and the message is Uh, cash is going to be a problematic asset and hold that other diversified portfolio of assets. Keep looking at it in real terms, not nominal terms. And that diversification should be um, also uh, international diversification from countries, not just asset classes, in order to have a truly well-diversified portfolio.